Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori, and today we are going to be doing the 2.1 story for Honkai Star Rail. I'm so excited. Um, this might be like my first current like story playthrough for um, Honkai Star Rail, or like one of, I think my second one actually. Um, I'm behind on editing, so, but I wanted to get this one up ASAP just because I need to start catching up, so things are gonna be a little out of order. But anyway, um, I'm so excited for this, and I, I can't wait. There's so many questions that need to be answered. There are so many things I, I want to learn about characters. I just, I have so many theories. We have a, we have a board back here with our theories and our connections to characters. We've been, we've been thinking about this. It's time, it's time to do it. So, without further ado, let's get started. Here we go. Oh my God, please don't fall. Okay, because we might need to add more stuff to the board while we're doing this. Just, and I'm, I need to get my notebook so I can take notes. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Did he just give us Don't money? mention it. Death, to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound okay. logic. Look at them together! Oh my god! <laughs> Do I need to get off the express and help? Not at the moment. Sure, just let me know if you need me. Don Hung, don't come over here. Don't come over here. You don't need to come over here. You don't need to experience any more trauma. Stay on the express. Stay on the express. Just, just don't come over here. <laughs> Better unsheath that blade now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter? Of those slain by your hand? <sighs> That's right! That's right! We left them fighting! They were fucking fighting! That's on the board. That's on the board. Oh! Wait a minute! It appears the outcome has already been determined. We're still alive. As are you. We still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind. And then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire, and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy, until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon, from the beginning to the end. We are born to die, just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young and I don't blame them. But my flames are faint. Then time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. Before that, oh. I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. Draw that 
that sword. For we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death. For I choose this. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction? What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. <sighs> All right. I accept. You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard, not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but... Perhaps out of reciprocity. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt... is not the path I truly follow. Oh! May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. My time. Everything is going so fast! I've seen many clever disguises oh that can conceal appearances. But they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but... I... <sighs> did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So... I know who is inside that cold armor. Please, no! <gasps> How about it? Ready to 
take off that armor and sit down for a talk? Oh, if y'all were right, I'm gonna throw it's up. Not yet time. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for Please you. Please let it be pom pom. Me. Please let it be pom pom. If your goal <laughs> is the watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death. But they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. See, I it's pom pom. Expected to hear you say it. it is pom pom. I That's knew it. Then. The Trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? How else no need for would that. would Sam know that there no are no mentioning that they're not Elio's they're not her enemy? Given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future for- Oh, they're using the eye. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. What does that mean? What does that mean? <sighs> I knew it. Oh my god, does that mean she's gonna die? Hang on. Is she dead? I... Don't. Don't. What? Oh, I'm- I'm Your throwing up. The question was... Do you still have dreams? About everyone who died because of you. I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light. And to burn. To keep on burning until I turn to ash. So, I really envy you. The Is quiver so? in Sam's voice. And you're already living in the waking world. Always open to pull for your. Always open to pull for your game account. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Here's a small something for our. Is he our sugar daddy? Oops, I pressed send too early. Here's a little extra for good luck with this new gig. Hello. I had a really bad thought. What if he's giving us money because he views relationships as transactional? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm making myself cry. <laughs> Honored guest, could you come out for a second? What the hell? Oh, she's listening. I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Oh my god. Welt. They have a connection. Is there something about my name? First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. 
that the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade, and that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. The Annihilation Gang? Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That Duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. What? That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron, those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Penacony is solely to fulfill an old, final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Did I put that on the board? I think I've been honest enough. Or do- Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I didn't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions. Such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. She knows about, she knows about the Stellaron inside of the Trailblazer. Is she okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? My hands are sweating. She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. Gaining my trust depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Penacony dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Penacony may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? <laughs> no, four cups. I'm gonna start calling my coffee bat. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Huh? Well done, Dubra. That's Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by annihilation. That's Duke Inferno talking, I think. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. Mm -hmm. The other one is probably his progeny. What? This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... 
They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest, away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your right of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. When had thou, on the path of destruction, feared death? I'm assuming these are all... The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. These are all... Those poor people. Um, part of the no Annihilation game. what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Yeah, I... What happened? The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact. And that's how it should have gone. But along the way... It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Oh my god! Who are you? Oh! Who are you? It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? My name is Constance. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it... <laughs> Unforgettable. Why does Constance sound familiar? But that seems unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet store, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you, I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you unforgettable. Wait, Memories. I have a question. I have a really quick question. Constance sounds familiar. D Constance is the girl with horns from the trailer. Is that the um, Celeste, the the Myriad Celestia? And Constance at last. Constance, here we go. My most ambitious and exceptional The child. favorite child. There is nothing more to teach you. Just remember, without Pelicone's midnight hour, strip away all they hold dear and leave naught but the remembrances too. I understand. All right, so we know who we know who Constance is, or at least we remember who Constance is, and her mission was literally to, like, um, to mess with Panacone. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. Sigonian sovereign? Huh? The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. 
This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home, dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. Oh my god. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. No, 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 no. This sounds bad. Like them saying, because obviously for a fact, we know that adventuring is from um, Sagonia. And like the fact that they're not, that they say that there's no intelligence. That sounds, that sounds horrible. That sounds fucking horrible because they're making it sound like, like the people who live there, like are not worth it. And be like, I, like this is disgusting. I'm actually so mad. <laughs> Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, Please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddle sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Mommy! 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 The rain! It's raining! Raining? <sighs> sent down a gift like this from Gyathra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. <gasps> My boy. The goddess Gyathra close her eyes three times. Keep your 
blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. To this sad world, Kakavasha. Is that his real name? <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. What the fuck? Oh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. They must be dreaming. <clears throat> of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> oh my god, he tried- danger, I'm forced to wake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. Okay. That's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Oh, man. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other one. <clears throat> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. It's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin Stannon was all ready to go. These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. What should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your I'm actually I'm actually so, so upset. Soon. I'm trying like really hard not to start no, crying. There are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. Like more. <laughs> the most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the Hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability. Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. 
To phrase it in a manner more befitting the vernacular of Panacone, you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Oh. Sunday. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. Batman's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Okay. That was a We're lot. Here. Yeah, I'm... I am... I'm not... I'm unwell. Oh, he's so cool. Why am I, why am I going through? Oh, we can't even see. Oh, come on. <laughs> we can't even see. Oh, I'm going through it though. Like my voice is fucking cracking. Like I am, I am in shambles. What the fuck? Wait, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Oh wait, this is my favorite one. This is the favorite, this is my favorite one I've taken. Oh my God. No, never make that face again. Do y'all remember was like, when I was like, I don't trust adventuring. I feel like I just don't feel comfortable with him. Now look, I'm telling y'all, my character development is the greatest of all time. Now I will storm the IPC by myself like, like I'm not, I will go through those doors. I will fight Diamond with with a, a freaking a, a pipe cleaner. Not that doesn't make sense. I will, I will take him on myself. I will, I will end it all. They are so over. Like where? How did where? Where have we got? How did we get here? <laughs> how did I get here? Oh, triple faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. What? <sighs> what have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next. You have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. And if I refuse to answer? You can try, and we'll see if the Harmony rejects you. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing, but not restricted, to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Yes. 
All the Abjins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? <sighs> I don't know. Interesting. Now, the final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? Like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. these what you're looking for? <laughs> Wait, was that another s Since you came as promised, learned doctor. Is that Topaz's does this mean that you are stone? willing to take the side of the family? Topaz is like brown, house? right? Or like a gold color or something? What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. I'm vibrating. Like, I'm so... I'm, I have so much anxiety. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Oh! Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the Strategic Investment Department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. The cornerstone, which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. <laughs> I appreciate it.
Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> The Golden Stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stone Hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz. Okay. Not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble. One he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Learned doctor, I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. Hi, dueler. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Ratio, you wretch. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> Is this what the Harmony represents? What is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape, or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you. And it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. 
This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? <gasps> Kakavisha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous! It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. But I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. One? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. That's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy, because Mom left you this necklace. <sighs> There'll be no next time. It is important, but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what Mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gyathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we... all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through, all right? Gyathra Triclops. Okay. We'll swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. But sister, if Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath until the moment she closed her eyes. 
Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gaiathra Triclops's forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Excuse me. The fuck. The Bravo team has IPC? arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Fox, get moving. Uh, uh, armed evacuation? Boss, aren't you drunk? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Understood. Help! Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice! Hey! Check it out! That place! Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? Yeah, the fact that there's clown music here is taking me out. Guests, the IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones, or compulsory measures will be enforced. I'll request a beating for you lot! You've been told not to drink during work hours. She's here! Take him back She's to the hotel here! Room. Of course. That's if I remember. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of... And then quickly let's go and then, hello? <clears throat> what are you doing? Don't mind me, it's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. It's only when the sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clear. Okay. <laughs> Take your time. <sighs> that should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Panacomi. That Pass freaked away. me out. I'm like, what are you doing? Long time no see. Having fun on Pentacony? What the fuck is that? This voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Did he have a southern accent? Though I don't know exactly what you are or what you're up to. My bullets will find you. It's Boot Hill! So then you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. Yeehaw! It's effigy! <laughs> I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of Recollections Memo Keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You got imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. I don't know what you're talking about, but this you is... know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. This is actually yes. changing the entire context I of this interaction. You. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Not quite. I only want to ask. Okay, I gotta stop it. I can't do it. How exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? <sighs> oh. She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Oh, well, 
Ooh, that voice or the laugh. I'll be on Panacone soon. Uh, memo keeper. Go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up. And I'll raise a glass to you. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure. You best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? Medical advice? <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. Solve the case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing-headed scoundrel. Wing-headed scoundrel. <laughs> but the way you're what? all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. What is this? Um, a most exquisite scroll holding a doctor's prescription within. Dr. Ratio advise you to only unveil it in a moment of life or death. You look distressed. Is something troubling you? If so, you can figure it out yourself. Remember what I said. You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Oh, Sparkle, no! Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? Oh, no, no, you gotta go. <laughs> oh, it's you. You gotta go. Fool. You gotta get out of here. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out... Oh, he did this on purpose? You me with an answer for Wait! Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into chaos? Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Hmm. And what if I say no? What is this bird? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? 
Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth, and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Penacony will go up in smoke. Hello? If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. <sighs> oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Penacony. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax... The walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? Mm. Oh no, oh no! So, number 35. You're back. Like your new lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak. So don't pound. <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Oh Go my god. Play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Uh, aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've 
got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. Uh, how much did you spend? What? My price. Uh, how much did you pay... for me? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tanba. No more, no less. I'll take my chances. 30 tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanba. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. <sighs> Life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky house. I feel sick to my stomach. I feel disgusted. That was awful. Huh. I what hated that. Here, Gallagher? I hated that so much. <sighs> Some friends Didn't from like the it. old Wanted days. It. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. Oh my god, Shaban is this bar so offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Is so ordinary, so gender right now. Ordinary. Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. What? I mean, I think that was a theory, wasn't there? There was a theory that Mikhail was the the watchmaker. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. Mm. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Kataka Avjin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refugee the second? travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. What pretty eyes. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Maybe, maybe, maybe she will be nice. Maybe she's really, really nice. Maybe, wait, I just noticed that he's standing right there and he's got fucking shackles on. Oh my God, no. Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. Wait! As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps... You ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. 
All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end. Wait. Including the perpetrator himself. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? What awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... Will I encounter failure? Never to return. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. Not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly? You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart while we walk. This was... <laughs> this is so much. What exactly are you? spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Kakabasha, I am your future. Hey, kid. You okay? 
Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. Oh, no! <sighs> Your eyes. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Our... Are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes. And Mama Funga. No, no, it... It can't... There aren't any Aptons left. Wait, I just saw the quest? There's like redacted parts. What are you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. The straight dope? <laughs> what? I've never, I've never heard of the straight dope before. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies, calculations. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. A tight, sober, cautious, massive inferiority complex. You want so much, you're still so afraid of losing. They only see your big bets, your He sounds he sounds like me. <laughs> massive inferiority complex. Know. Other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation. Was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? 
Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? Please. Why do they have to War use pegged? Done. Either <laughs> stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. When Mama said goodbye that day, how many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. You and Big Sis playing dead. Drifting in all that bloody water. Completely ruined that shirt. <laughs> Shame. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? Oh, it's getting worse. <laughs> it wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Oh, come on. It's a rag. It's not like you can ever wear it. You don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be it. You should enjoy it. That child, could he be in here? Is this? Oh, topaz stone. A, a topaz? What is this doing here? Curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor's acting was superb. Maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. You spoke of the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it... Everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. Okay. Why don't you stop rummaging through my Okay. Mind? It was all they there was a plan. Your mind. It's our mind. Okay. You're me. And I'm you. We're the same. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. 
Why are you even asking me? Ah, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what Chief said when he received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... Jade. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. I, I like had a feeling. It's a jade a stone. How oh, what? Sauce for the goose. Aventurine, topaz, jade. Three elites, three cornerstones who, for a measly panic of me, offered their everything. You're even more united than the family. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. Oh, this is so this but is so will interesting. It be the former or the latter. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? He's yeah. had it the entire time. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. Stone before you left. Wait, what? Oh, just look at it. All shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This <laughs> thing is far more precious than your life. Oh. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Klipoth's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot-free? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I can create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Now I'm really curious. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself? Come with a strong impulse for self destruction. Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards? I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. We'll just have to wait and see then. Ugh, the cornerstone is gone. Oh my god, that was so much. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me try and huh? try and put like piece everything together. So 
Ratio and adventuring plans ratio betraying adventuring and giving that information to kind of lead Sunday astray. And the two gemstones that he actually has, that Sunday has, Topaz, the Topaz Stone and the Jade Stone. And the Topaz and the Jade Stone were given for this because Topaz, Jade, and Adventurine agreed to that. Um, and Adventurine has his stone, but he, but he smashed it, I guess? But yeah, I was gonna say, him being mean to himself is so, like, on point for someone that has depression because you're always battling with your brain. Your brain is always telling you, oh, no one likes you and you're so sad, and, you know, blah, 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 you're awful. Your brain is always telling you that. It's just like, you're always like fighting yourself. It's like, this is like, this is straight up depression. <laughs> oh my God. Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Mr. Pretty Eyes, stop it. Yes. <laughs> That's so we meet sweet. Again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I was so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together. And turning them into a moving a flip. Wall a flip. <laughs> they put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, Mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. <laughs> I'm sure. <sighs> Oh no, this is whiplash again! No, why do I have to do this? I'm not, I'm not meant, I'm emotionally, I'm not here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do nutty blitz. Are you joking? I didn't read it. Why aren't you talking? You piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. I have to keep taking deep breaths, y'all. <laughs> Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. A dead end? Oh. <laughs> it, is this? Got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hint? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. You made your first pot of gold. I remember it all too well. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist, for that is the only tool you could find. Then. Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth only 60 toss-ups. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it, because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? You love the thrill of danger, but he refused to let go of meaningless sentiments. He 
even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. <laughs> you could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved it without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... disappear? <laughs> That's cheating. Brought back. Would they <sighs> to new that was really, that was really rude. Please, no, please. What is this? Mm, your expression right now is hard to put into words. The lucky charm Mama left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? They are, you they are so mean. This is so, away. this is so mean. Looking back, that was the better This choice. is, this is so mean. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears. You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. And <laughs> woo! You are nuts! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that from start to finish. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool. And a chance to go head-to-head -head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. 
I don't know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling that makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Mm. You're... going back? Yes, I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. <sighs> You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me... and him. Your past... and future. How long will you stay? I can do it. And it will be flawless. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple. That way, if 
the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Why, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically a I can't stop you from doing what you want. We can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. <clears throat> you will keep winning, having never lost before, but why you? Why must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more, in these windfalls, these Jackpots aren't a gift from Gyanthra. If all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths. Then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? <sighs> well, maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back... I'll know what the trip was all about. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's... It's best to die without regrets. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. And now, only we are left. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Sure. Come on. No, 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 they're not. No, they're not. Oh my god. Why? Uh, uh, I feel sick. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. <sighs> Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. Clothes are so stylish. Oh. 
I'm actually a merchant. But I do have a show to do. Oh my god. Did anyone else have a mental breakdown here? Or is it just is it just me having a mental breakdown? I don't think my eyelashes are gonna make it again, y'all. I put eyelashes on today. I don't think they're gonna make it. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. But it's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gaiathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. Oh my god. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. <laughs> this is where we go our own way. Oh my god, no, no, no more. <laughs> Catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken I'm already all on the money, floor. Food, Why? Killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, oh. and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge. Remember? Today is the day of the Kakaba. What? And also your birthday. I know the Avgen will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Hadkins know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. Oh my god. The Catechins stand no chance against them and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the Catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avgen always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region the? of Sigonia. <laughs> the situation is now under control.
The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjan, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of <laughs> life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? Y'all, I am like super unwell right now. <laughs> I'm like really, really unwell. Like that was that was so much. The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. <laughs> the architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. Oh, it fades in the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death for rebirth. Oh. Oh my god, the entrance was so cool. Shut up. Shut up. It's Jazzy! This is my shit! This is my shit! I love Jazz! No one's gonna pay you to stand still. I'm... I'm losing my mind. I love that this is Jazzy. I love this! Ow. Down <laughs> Girl, I don't know what I was doing there. I thought I knew, but clearly I didn't understand. Good times never last. Time to say bye. I can't wait for phase three. Everybody's like that. Down to the last player. Did I win? Why can't I feel that free? Oh shit, okay. Oh my god, I'm always hide your ace with a I won? Face. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little impatient. <laughs> I was, I was like, where? It's running phase three. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last shit. Only by casting side reason does one truly gamble. <laughs> I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pentecost. What do you hope to find within a dream? 
not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. Even if... that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other Eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands Ooh, of faith for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color. But not much. I feel like whatever's happening here is probably Honkai Impact related. I have a feeling. That is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. Yes! This is where we go on our way. Welcome to this sad world, Kakabasha. Are we end walking? We're oh, we're end walking. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Algin have. No, it's gonna take too long. I shouldn't do that. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wait. You've reached your final end. Bid your farewells to Bloom Lane. Your final just try your best to. Wealth, status, power. 
The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. I feel so... I feel so sick. I'm having like... I'm having another mental breakdown. An emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ajax. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, <clears throat> I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land <clears throat> of exile. How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. A beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier... ...and lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous deaths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacone. What? Hint. Is that not proof? 
Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these. He's talking about the. The. As for the family to come that clean. gave him. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident oh. to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Wait! Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. It's coming together. Okay. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. Um... It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. Okay, so from what I understand, if I'm wrong about this, feel free to correct me. But from what I understand, this is what he wanted. Like, he wanted, from the very beginning, he kept saying in front of people, she's an emanator. She's an emanator. Don't trust her. She's an emanator. So it ended up creating this, like, um, this dynamic between, like, the um, the Express crew and, and uh, Acheron to where they joined together. And, like, he knew that she was an emanator, and he wanted to collapse, basically, the, um, the dream, right? In Panacone, he wanted to collapse it. Like, he's, he's kind of been saying that since the beginning, that he wanted to end the dream or, or something along those lines. So from the very, very beginning, even in, like, 2.0, he's been... He's been planning this. He's literally, he literally wanted this to happen. Like to the very end, he wanted her to unsheath her blade, cut through the dreams because he knew that she was the only one that could do it pretty much. <laughs> He's so smart. What? How is he so cool? Turn from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Oh! Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. He doesn't know if he can but come I back can from only this. Bank on my but own like, good he fortune. was, he's wanted, he... Because other than that, I have nothing. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world, if it's just to die? Oh. I don't think this, I never have, nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless.
but it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. <sighs> then I shall get going. Oh, Mister, you're leaving. You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakamisha, and to make them proud. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> Well, I seem that way because I am nervous. <coughs> you know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping May your blood, blood eternally pulsing. pulsing. May, May your journey, journey be forever peaceful, peaceful. And your, your schemes, schemes forever concealed. concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Oh. Farewell, Kakavasha.
With hope for tomorrow nestled on the heart and my heart, I descended to the slumber of to of tonight until the denouement of all coming morrows kisses me. I have then embraced the quiet death. This man is different. He lives and breathes in the present, and every sinking night, by every daring gamble, no vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows not quietude, his fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempests one after another, till mire enshrouds his every breath. And now in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die has at last landed on its earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, it at last landed. The light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then... Let's fulfill our duty, and start harvesting. Thereafter, in the cradle of slumbers, deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine, and I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring, and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches, to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. <laughs> Try to open your eyes, but, the, but find only blackness before you. <clears throat> Whose POV is this? Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. Adventuring unleashes his final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Acheron drawing her blade and then crash. The indescribable force severs the power of preservation, while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness, until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. <laughs> Think someone saved me? You're awake. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. You've met me before. Why are you here? I'm Sam, the Stellaron Hunter. Now is not the time. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Oh. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Sam is about to Before reveal that it, Sam is pom pom. Wait for it. I'm so excited. This is. I can't wait. It became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do, nor do I have a specialty like Silverwolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So, there is only one method that I use. This is to show you. <gasps> All that I am. Labyrinth-like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. 
You are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped I'm you back. find I'm the back. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry, I just, I literally just, I just was right here. I heard everything. I'm back. Opinion. I'm back. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, I had to get up. I had to get up. Wearing thin, neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic! You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony Festival. Isn't that right, my brother? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Huh? Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes, take a good look. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, Countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. What is going on? Tell me I'm wrong. You have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing, the answer to a question. You devil, you wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes.
Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. What the actual fuck just happened? Did Sunday just get stabbed? Did Sunday get stabbed? Did he get stabbed? No! 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 No, not the ass-shaking music!